Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we completed the Temple of Time, and we actually got another piece of the Crystal, or Mirror of Twilight. So that's out of the way. And Midna did mention that the last piece of the Mirror of Twilight is located in the heavens. However, we still have to investigate how we can find that thing. Just checking my bug count. If I can ever click the right buttons, I always forget which buttons are for the menu. And we did get the female snail earlier. But now that we have the Dominion Rod, we can actually move this statue back here. And that revealed the, another Poe's soul. And even though we completed 20, I might as well grab it, just in case. Alright, so that's out of the way. But there was another statue on this side, also. So now I have to get rid of that. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be something back here. There is. This was what was before today's sacred grove. A piece of heart, huh? Eh, not too big, not too small. <laughs> and yes, we already got the bug, the snail. So let's go back into the real world now. Okay. Oh, it's Aku again. Well done, adventurer. Aku sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes. It's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple. The bat thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. Oh, what am I to... I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I have completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic. It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Well, Aku is on her way. See you again. And there she goes. Hey, wait! Did you... What did you do to the Dominion Rod? She's gone. I suppose a useless rod is really just more baggage, but what are you going to do? Hmm, did she say something about returning to the sky? The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If we restore our magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it will come in handy. And yes, this Dominion Rod is now bronze looking and it has no magic at all so it's useless now unless we put magic back back to its power in the meantime we're gonna have to warp out of here because there's nothing else we can do we probably have to go talk to telma but for now i do want to go to kakarika village to donate some of that money Rupees, in this case. Over to that guy who's planning to do something else. I forgot what it was. But it was something to do... Well, what is it? I don't know. It's at the Malamart here. I'm pretty sure. All right. 
Oh, yeah. The bridge is built. Oh, yeah, that, um... Wait. 200 rupees? Oh, the store in Castletown. Right. It, and it's... We need 200 rupees right now. Glorious day. We, re, we achieved our goal, brother. Today marks the day that another legendary establishment is born. You should travel to Castle Town later. Thank you for your co cooperation, Broda. And yes, we got ourselves a new store, a new Malamart. In Castle Town this time. And it's gonna be pretty interesting when we find out and head on over there. Yes, I did. Uh-huh, indeed. Um... Let me see. What's on the agenda for today? Um, you know what? The one thing I do, I would like to do... Uh, I don't know if I want to take Epona anywhere, because... I don't think, one, it would feel safer to leave her in... It would, it would not feel safe to leave her in, in Hyrule Field, and two, we can warp. So you know what, let's go do that. Because there might have been some places we missed. So, if I see anything, I guess I'll see you guys later. Well guys, I'm here at the Ordon Spring in Ordona Village, and I forgot about this golden wolf here. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna enter our sixth... Uh, yeah, our sixth hidden skill. We meet again. There are but a few hidden skills left for me to teach you. I've warned you of, of this before, but if you fail to execute this hidden skill I'm about to teach you, you your life may be forfeit. You still wish to master? Uh, yes, I do. Why not? Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last secret I taught you, the mortal draw. Basically, I just wait for it. Like that. And I just realized, guys, that the mortal draw isn't very helpful against those enemies in the Temple of Time. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my last art. My sixth hidden skill is the Jump Strike. Alright, so we got the Jump Strike as the sixth hidden skill. This is, this is the first time I've actually gotten this. One of the basic sword techniques is the jump attack. It inflicts great damage, but none would call it effective against multiple foes. To perform the jump strike, prepare a jump attack. Put focus power in your blade. The surge of the blade releases the strike all enemies around you. This is the jump strike. Lock on with Z and then press and hold the A until the right time to release your strength. Okay, this seems like an easier one than the Helm Splitter or the Mortal Draw, but then again, I could be totally wrong. Almost. I got two of them down. Nevertheless, I think I won that. Yep, in one take. Hmm, impressive. Do not forget the timing for releasing the power you just felt. The sixth hidden skill, the jump strike, has been passed on. And that was, yeah, that was totally easy. I don't think any of the other ones were easier than that. <laughs> there is but one hidden skill left for me to pass on to you. You already endowed with the strength 
I don't... I can't even talk about that. I can't... I can't even talk. <laughs> oh well. Do not already feel the courage granted. Do you not... Uh, by the strength as it guides you step by step towards your true enemy? Believe in your strength. Continue to push forward unflinchingly and without straying from your path. May we meet again. <laughs> Okay, so that that was totally easier than the Helm Splitter or the Mortal Draw. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything in particular. And look, do we have here the Mailman has got something for us again. <laughs> All right, who is it? Another two letters. Well. All right. <laughs> Let's read those letters. Um, Malamart and Renato. All right, Malamart. Malamart, the hero of this count, is finally opening Castletown. We've got all you need for that upcoming trip. And we offer it at unbelievable prices. Grand opening special magic armor. Limit one. Act fast, heroes. About Ilya's memory. And it's from Renato. There's something I want about Ilya's memory that I wish to tell you. I know you're busy, but please come visit me in my sanctuary in Kakariko Village. Alright, so... We might consider doing that. Maybe next part? I don't know. I do remember that there... What? Are those enemies? I think they are. Oh, it's those bugs. Okay. Never mind then. I think down here there might be some kind of special thing, but I don't even know then. Oh yes, there is something. Good thing I went down here. And using these boots. Yep, another hidden chest. <laughs> Orange rupee. Alright. Well, at least it's something. <laughs> Ah, that's new. Something's been revealed here. And I don't think it's anything I've heard of. Um... And as much as I like to look around this, I think I'm gonna dedicate a part where... <coughs> I'm going to... check all the hidden areas, actually. So... I'll probably do that sometime after the seventh dungeon, maybe. Which is the Sky Temple, obviously. Also, now that we have bombs, and arrows for that matter, and I can't believe I didn't do this earlier. And now we can blow these things up. Simple as that. And here's the other side. And yes, we can reveal that. So... Now if we go up here, there should be a chest with a piece of heart in it. It's nothing to it. Jeez, that's a long way up. I should have grappled up here. <laughs> it seems like many bosses in each dungeon always throw me off. And where am I supposed to go? Oh, that's climbable. I forgot. <laughs> I 
Wait a second. Right. I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> I'm supposed to leap over with that. <laughs> This way is probably nothing. I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's good. Here's nothing. Yeah. Well, there might be something down there. I don't know. I know there's something down here, obviously. Ow! Making sure the thing is recording still. And there, yep, yeah, a piece of heart. That's another one. Next time we will go visit Renato in Kakarika Village and see what Ilya's or Ilya's up to. So thanks for watching. This has been Drew Mario, and I'll see you in the next part.